plaintiff, Roger Waddell, dated the defendant, and she claims around the time she got pregnant with his child, they were arguing a lot. Roger says they tried to work it out for the sake of their child, but eventually broke up, and she's suing for the balance due on a sofa and car repairs. Defendant Gabriel Burton admits that he cheated on Bruget, both before and during her pregnancy. And he claims once she found out, she cheated to get revenge. Gabriel denies owing his ex for anything. Start with you. Um, so I met Mr. Burton through a mutual friend. Um, anytime we hung out, Mr. Burton would call and try to get my attention via the phone call. Um, that then turned into us exchanging social media information, getting to know each other. Um, and then November 20th of 2018, Mr. Burden um, officially asked me to be his girlfriend. Um, of course, I said yes. Um, loved his attitude at that point. What do you um, mean by officially? Love- yeah, I'll think about that. What do you mean? Did y'all have a Bible and held your hand, your right hand up? No. Did you have um, a minister uh, present? I mean, at that time, he just asked. Um, we had been hanging out a couple of times. You know, I didn't he- date before November 18. So, no, we we just, I mean, of course, dating uh, in my I don't know, of course what? Of course nothing. I don't know, of course. <laughs> of course what? <laughs> Um, dating was us hanging out. That that was Good the enough. the like. All right, so I can to. see official meaning yet yeah, going become an intimate. That's what you mean by yes. that. All right. Yes. Good enough. Uh, some people are intimate serious. all the way through, and then suddenly they think, oh, it's official. No, it was official when we yes. started uh, doing things. Plaintiff Brige Waddell is suing her ex boyfriend, who admits that he cheated on Brige both before and during her pregnancy. Go ahead. <laughs> and that didn't start till later. Um, once that happened, we were dating for a while, moved in together. Um, October 21st, 2019, I found out that I was pregnant. Um, and at that point in time of me finding out that I was pregnant, me and him were arguing. The only thing that really stuck us together was the fact that we had a child coming. Um, we vowed to be honest and upfront with each other and all of that because we had a child coming. Um, December 2019 came and Mr. Burton found a good lump sum of money. Um, I don't know where he got the money from exactly, but... Let me get to him. Now you're talking to me like I'm stupid. Talking about you didn't know where he got the money from. Go ahead, uh, sir. Let me hear from you. Um, so... Pretty much how she started off was exactly right. Uh, she caught my attention. I said, you know what? At, at this time, our mutual friend, he was my best friend or whatever. One day, he was on the phone with her. I'm like, yo, you cute. I'm going to make you my next baby mama. She was, ha, ha, he, he. Sure enough, look what happened. <laughs> so from there on, um, we everything was going great. It was, it was a lovely experience. But obviously, with every relationship, there's always ups and downs. Uh, for my down part, I cheated. Um, I cheated prior, before she was pregnant and during the pregnancy. Um, from there on out, I found out she also decided she wanted to cheat also. From there on, we did make a vow saying we was going to fix ourselves, fix each other, you know, actually become a family. February of 2021, we actually called it quits. Um, and as of now, we're just co-parents. So why you all? Why did son. you all break up? It got it got to a point of violence, um, <laughs> a really violent stage. Why are you in, laughing in our relationship? Why are you laughing? Because I mean, honestly, hurt? I wish it never did get to that point. To be honest, um, she's a lovely woman. She's a lovely mother. Obviously, no one was seriously hurt. No, no okay. one was seriously hurt. I know you wouldn't laugh that off. Okay. And ma'am, let's get to the uh, sofa and the car repairs that you're suing for. We went to a furniture store uh, not too long after moving into our apartment. I don't know. Um, you, I don't know when he, you moved in, ma'am. I don't know. We when moved you in moved in August 2019. Okay. We were trying to build our credit, so we both applied for a loan 
at that time we were not only buying a sofa but a table the sofa went under my name because i qualified for a higher loan gabriel's words to me was uh, don't worry about it because i have the money for it i'll pay for it even if it is in your name just so that we can go ahead and increase and start a credit. Now, I never had a credit line before. Okay, and what really did happen? Day, did so he, did he ever pay any money on it? Nope. Okay. He did not pay any money on it. All right. Um, and who has the sofa? Currently, the sofa resides with me at my apartment. Okay. What's the balance? The balance, Um, if you look at the evidence I have for you at page one, the balance is ter- currently uh, 218363. Let's go now to the uh, car repairs you're suing for. Mr. Vernon is a co-signer for my car. He, on November 4th, said, let's go out, let's go make money, delivering food. Went out, my car got hit, um, basically totaled at the scene almost. And when the police officer asked if there was insurance, uh, Gabriel told them no. Now, before we went outside that day, I asked Gabe if he had gotten insurance on the car he told me yes i have insurance the insurance that he had your honor was only liability so regardless to the fact my car would have never gotten sick as a result as a result then let her finish taking my car to go get looked at the total of the damages was 6500 my family offered to pay two thousand dollars worth which is also in the evidence for you, lined out so that you can see um, page. on page three, mm-hmm. which then left me with 4,500. Because Gabe was the one that was driving and also let me out on false pretenses that he did have insurance on the car, he offered to pay. Now, he all, he said that at the scene, and he also said that to my mother. For both instances, my mother was a witness to him saying that he would actually pay for and help pay for the two items. Okay, and you have a statement of re- in that regard from your mother? All yes, right. this, um, all right. that would be page four for you right. for the statement with mom. Plaintiff Bruget Waddell is suing her ex-boyfriend, who admits that he cheated on Bruget both before and during her pregnancy. What do you say to these two things? With the couch, we, we, we were together. We were together in a relationship. So we just got a place. So obviously a couple that just has a place who obviously want to make agreements for both things, whatever you want to furnish the crib for. We had a settlement agreements in front of who was helping us. I put the table in my name. You put the couch in your name. At the end of the day, it was an agreement. My thing is, once... We broke off the relationship. What was the agreement? Everything. What was the agreement that you all each the agree- made? The, uh, the agreement was I will put the bills. table because I can afford. No, the I table. got put. I'm saying pay. Who was to pay? Oh, pay what was, was the agreement on pay? At that, at that moment, at that moment of time, I was making majority of the money. So yes, I was saying I would help. I'm not paying the whole thing off. Help My thing pay is what? Also- help pay what? You got two things. Oh, the couch. The couch. Okay. I did. I said I would help pay for, which I did. I helped pay for the couch. How much? She barely put How anything much? into the couch. How much? At least fifteen hundred. Okay. So did he pay fifteen hundred on the couch, ma'am? Okay, Okay, you have any evidence that you paid anything? No. So, the car repairs, what do you say to that? The car repairs, I'm not paying for. I'm the one that bought her the car. Mm -hmm. So, no, I'm not paying for the car repairs. Their insurance is her fault. I have insurance on my car. Mm -hmm. So, my thing is, why don't you have insurance on your car? Obviously, if you know you have to get around, why not have insurance on your own vehicle? First, let me correct you on something. This is what you said. You said... I got her that car. That's all, yes. That's called I a bought gift. her a car. What you wanted back? That's no, I know. That's the thing. I'm well, not, then, I'm don't make that's, that's irrelevant. Oh, that was her car. It's irrelevant if you bought it because you gave it to her as a gift. Now, what happened when you totaled it? So someone hit our car. As she said we was doing delivery. Hour? What do you mean Hour. Well, together at that time we were together, so it was I like, know, uh, but we, you had gave it to her car. car. No, yes, but we lived together, so my I understand is, that. Uh, like I've given cars so to a lot of so people who say, live with me, and it's theirs. <laughs> it's okay. not that is not mine. Let me restate that for you. Her car, I drove her car mm-hmm. while we was doing deliveries. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
All right. So from there on, someone hit her car, mm-hmm. hit her car. While you were hit driving? Her situation. While you were yes, driving? I was, I was driving, yes. Hit her car. There was a hit and run situation. We called the cops. The person ended up leaving, running, leaving the scene, all that stuff. So when I said, hey, do you have insurance on car? She cried. At that time, she was going through the waterworks. She was crying. It was a very emotional route for her. So I said, you got insurance? She said, no. I said, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to add your car to my insurance. Before the cops get here, at the time, I didn't have the money to pay for it, so I asked her mom. So, yes, I asked her mother for money to add her car onto my insurance and... to try to get the damages done, oh, like okay. clear off and everything like that. All right, so you attempted to pay for it. Yes. And because you failed, you changed your mind. That's not how it works. When you attempt to do something, it's because you want to, and you can't not want to after you've agreed and led her down the road to saying that you're going to pay for something that happened while you were driving it. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. I honestly just hope that it never has to get to this point again and that he gets some type of financial help and assistance. It is what it is.